Hey everyone. So a couple of videos back, we used transfer learning to create a model which used a pre-built model in TensorFlow and used that to create a model in ML.NET to perform image classification. But in this video, we're actually going to create an image classification straight in ML.NET without transfer learning. And we're going to use it by creating a deep neural network. So real quick, the data we're going to use is on Kaggle as images of sushi and sandwiches, where we are going to create a model where we give it an image of a sushi or sandwich and it tells us which one it is. In Visual Studio here in my console project, I already have the images in, in the images folder. In each folder below that, I have a sandwich folder and a sushi folder, and it has a few images in there to train on. And I have a test folder with a couple images to test on in there. All right, so to get started, we're going to go in NuGet to get ML.NET. Now for this, I'm going to get the pre-release versions, which this will be 1.4 preview. And for the deep neural network part, I'm going to get the Microsoft.ML.DNN package. And that's the 0.16 preview package. All right, before we get started, I'm just gonna go ahead and create these input and output schema classes. So the first one is gonna be image data for my input schema. So it's gonna have image path and the label. I'm also gonna create the output schema, which is gonna be image prediction. And that is gonna have a float array. That's gonna be the scores that we get from the model. I'm also going to have a unsigned integer and that's going to be the predicted label. I have to use the unsigned integer because the DNN package doesn't give us a string for it. So it gives us the predicted label, which we can use as the index for the classes. So since that's out of the way, let's go ahead and get started creating our model. First thing I want to do is get a reference to the images folder. I use path.combine and I'll start at the environment current directory and I'm going to go back three levels and then I go to the images folder. Then from there I can get my files so I can use directory.getfiles and I'll start off looking at the images folder there. In the search pattern, I'm just going to get everything. So I use the wildcard and now the search option, I use get all directories. So it's going to get all the files in both of these directories. Now I can create an I enumerable of the image data collection here. So I, from those files, I'll select on it with link. And for each of them, I'll create a new image data object. And the image path is going to be what I get back there. And the label is going to be just like we did in the previous video. We'll just get directory that get parent of the file and get the name of it. So that's pretty much our, our input data that we're going to use to train on. So let's go ahead and create our ML context. And from our image data, we can do context uh, data load from enumerable. Pass in our images and I've renamed these so it makes a bit more sense. And I'm going to shuffle these. Context uh, data shuffle rows. Pass in the images data at that view. Next, I'm going to split this data using the context uh, data that train test split method. I pass in the shuffled images. I give it a test fraction of 20%. Now I'm going to create a validation data from that test set that we get from the split. So the context that transforms will be conversion map value to key and 
what we're doing here is this this label is categorical so it's just going to be a sandwich or sushi and what we're doing here is we're converting it to numerical so we can pass that into the the model here to train on also give it the key ordinality of by value instead of by occurrence and then i'll just fit on the test set and i'll transform that same test set so there's our validation data we'll pass that into our pipeline so we can do a validation check on it while it builds our model speaking of our pipeline let's go ahead and build that so we'll start off with that same conversion where we map the label then we'll append context that model that image classification this is where we use that dnn package that we installed alongside nmod.net and there we give it the image path as our input our label column is going to be the label key that we got from this map value to key and we'll give it the architecture of resnet give the number of epochs of 100 this is how many times it goes through our image data set then give it a batch size we'll just do 10 and we can give it a metrics callback since it's a function i can just call console dot right line on right line on it and then that validation data set that we created earlier we can pass that into the validation set parameter so that's the entire pipeline from there we can call fit on it with our training data set from our split and after we get the model we can get predictions from our test set from our model so we do model transform on our test set there and we can get metrics from it and since image classification is inherently a multi-class classification we can do context that multi-class classification that evaluate to get our metrics we pass in the predictions give the label call name label key and the predicted label call name predicted label now we can write out our metrics here it's going to be a log loss that we get back from it and the closer to zero in our log loss means our, the better our model is and to predict on a set of images we can create our prediction engine context of model that create prediction engine our input is the image data our output is the image prediction and pass in the model and then we need to get a reference to the test images folder do path that combine environment that current directory we do kind of the same thing that we did before and it'll be in the test folder and then we get the files from it directory that get files and from those files i'm going to create another innumerable of our image data object and i'm just going to do the image path and in order to have the model give us the actual label name instead of like i mentioned earlier we only get the predicted label index and to get the actual string value from that index we can get the key values from this label key to do that i'm going to create a v buffer which is of only read only memory of car call it keys and i'll give it just a default value right now we get an error from it saying it's not available in c sharp 7 we need to upgrade and actually visual studio can upgrade that for us and to get the key values i do prediction engine that output schema i'll get the label key column from it and then from there i can get key values and then pass in the keys as a reference from those keys I call dense values and I get turn it into an array. And so 
with each image and the test images from the prediction engine. Then I can get the label index from the prediction that predicted label. And then from there, let's write out our predictions. So the image is we path I get file name on the image path. I can give it the score. That'd be prediction score. Now take the max value out of those. And in the predicted label, it's going to be from the original labels that we got. And I'll pass in that label index that we got from the prediction. And then I'll do a console.readline so the console doesn't disappear on us. So let's run this and see how it works. And depending on the number of images that you give it to train on, it's going to take a, some time to train. All right, so we see in our output here, there's training up here. And notice our current accuracy is lands. Uh, it's probably due to this still being in preview. But after it trains and all that, you see our log loss is pretty close to zero here, 0 0.004. And on our test images, I see both sandwiches labeled as sandwiches at like 99%. Uh, sushis are labeled as sushi, one at 84%, and another one at 99% as well. So there we go, everyone. That's how you can use ML.net to create a deep neural network for image classification. Thanks for watching, and we'll see you next time.